everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll see how to complete this challenge lab develop serverless applications on cloud run so before starting the lab let's go through the challenge scenario so this is the architecture overview they have this monolithic billing application and they need a serverless model so we will be migrating this monolithic application to a serverless mode the development team will provide either the code or an image to be deployed as part of the solution. So we need to develop this minimal viable product. We have to deploy staging architecture, deploy prod architecture and then secure access between components in the prod architecture. So this is a high level specification which they have mentioned. So first we need to provision the lab environment. So let's start the lab. Activate Cloud Shell. So you can open this in new window. We need to provision the lab environment. First, let's set the project. So by executing this command gcloud config set project. So this will fetch the project ID gcloud project list. So this will fetch the project ID and it will set it. So let's copy it as is. Now it's updated. Post that we need to set the region to run the deployments. So here the region is US central one. So in your lab, whatever region you get, you ensure that you execute that. So let's copy this. So next we will be setting the cloud run platform type. So here the platform type will be managed. So let's copy this. Now it is set. Next, we will be cloning the repo with the pet theory code. Copy this. Now this is complete. When you do ls, you can see this. So we have all these files. We have cloned this. So when you do pwt, you can see we are inside this pet theory lab 07. So when we executed this command git clone. It cloned this repository and post that we change the directory to this pet theory lab 07. So this you can see and inside that we have this folders prod API build, prod API billing, prod frontend billing, staging, staging frontend, unit API building. So all these folders we have. So before proceeding with task one, let's set few environment variables. So you can refer to this GitHub link. So I'll be setting few variables here. So public billing service, front end staging service, private billing service, billing service account name, billing prod service name, front end service account name and front end production service name. So all these details, so all these names, whatever I have updated here. So you can find it here. So this is the billing service name. Next in task 2, we have this service name. This is the private service name. Private billing service. So this is that name. And in task 4, this is the service account name. This is the billing service name for prod. For front end, this is the service account name and frontend service name frontend prod service name so you should be sure you copy these names and update this so later when we are creating this service so we can just pass this variable name and we will also export this project id so this project id you can get it here so this is a project id you can just copy it so ensure that you update these variables Whatever name you get in your lab, you ensure that you update that accordingly and execute this. So I'll be copying this. So now this is set. Post that, let's proceed with task 1. Enable the public service. So for this, so we have to be inside this unit API billing. So now I am under 
lab 07 if I do ls so we have to be inside this unit api billing cd unit api billing or you can just copy paste that command here post that we need to execute this command gcloud build submit tag so we are tagging it with this billing staging api so this is the billing image name so that image name i am passing it here and this project id it will fetch it here so this will be the project id suppose that we will be deploying this gcloud run deploy and public billing service so it will take the name from here or you can pass the service name directly here instead of passing it as a variable you can pass it here and then iphone iphone image image name you need to provide so we have built that image right so that image name we are passing it here so let's copy this now the image is built successfully so when you execute this gcloud builds list you can find these details so this is the image which we built And if you execute gcloud container images list so this is the uh, image which we have built and it is listing that so once that is done we need to deploy this gcloud run deploy building service name and you need to pass the image uh, name here so let's copy this execute it here so it's deploying the new service so we have built an image using cloud build then we are deploying a cloud run service as an unauthenticated service then next we need to test the service response when the endpoint is accessed so let's wait until this is complete we have deployed the service public building service has been deployed and is serving 100% of traffic and this is the service url so if you click on this so you should get this message you can click on check my progress so now this is complete now let's proceed with task 2 deploy front end service set up a front end service use the information in the table below here the image name is front end staging 0.1 and the service name is this and it is also unauthenticated and the code will be staging front end billing so if we go back here if I do pwd we are inside unit api billing we have to be now we have to be inside this staging front end billing this is the folder where we have to be inside that folder so for that so you can copy this command cd cd it will change the directory to pet theory inside pet theory lab 07 inside that it will be this staging front end billing folder so you can copy this command you can just paste it here or you can just cd and give this name you will be taken inside this folder so once that is done let's build the container image by executing this command gcloud build submit and here the tag will be front end staging 0.1 so here they have mentioned the image name so this image we are building it now so copy this execute it here so now this is complete you can see this image and the status is success so let me clear this screen so again you can execute here g cloud container images list so it's a container image right so we have to execute command like this now you can see there are two images so first one was billing staging api now we have built this 
next image front end staging so once that is done we need to deploy this gcloud run deploy and here it should be front end staging service so instead of passing this variable you can also pass the staging service name so this is the staging service name front end staging service so this is the one you can pass this name directly and the image name will be this you have to ensure you pass the correct image name here so let's copy this now the deployment is complete so if you click on this uh, vs url so you should get this message now we are on front end staging service so once this is done so it's the same whatever we have followed in task 1 it's the same you can click on check check my progress we have deployed the front end service now now let's proceed with task 3 deploy a private service the development team updated the application and would like this deployed to the staging environment so now it's a private billing service the image name is different you have to see what image name has been used in each of the service so to deploy private service we have to be inside staging api billing so let me copy this so now you can see we have switched to staging api billing from front end billing so once that is done we will be submitting the build so we will be billing this image so here you can see the image name is billing staging api 002 rest of the things remain same copy this each time you can verify this by executing gcloud container image list it will show whatever image has been built so now this is complete you should get this success message after that is done let's deploy this so here you have to pass the private billing service name so this service name you need to pass so that i'm passing it as a variable it will take that name from this variable from this variable so let me copy this so here you have to ensure you pass the correct image name here so now it's deployed so once that is done you can click on check my progress so now this is complete now let's proceed with task 4 create a billing service account in preparation for the deployment to production you will need to create a service account for the billing service so now we are creating a service account with this name and the service name will be this so here you need to execute this command gcloud i am service account create and the billing service account so this is the billing service account name and the display name we are passing it here so let's copy this execute it here you should get this message created service account now the service account is created let's go back so this is the architecture now so click on check my progress this is complete now now let's proceed with task 5 deploy the billing service associate the new billing service account with billing service now we are associating the service account which we have created with the service so the image name will be this this is the billing prod image name and the service name will be this it's a billing service name and the code we have to use is prod api billing we have to be inside this folder and we are associating this service account so billing service sa is the service account which we had created just now so for that let's copy this so now we are under staging api billing now we are now we have switched to prod api billing next we will be submitting this build and this is the image name building prod api 0.1 copy this so we are building this image
so you must be wondering how it's executing all these steps so from where it is reading this uh, from node so it's executing all these six steps right so that you can find it here so once this uh, build is success you should get this success mes message so if you do ls here you can find your docker file right so if you cat this docker file so here you can see all these steps so it executed six steps right so this is where it is referring to so it, it refers to the docker file when we execute that command gcloud build submit so when we execute that command it refers to the docker file and it will build the image as per this so once that is complete let's deploy this service so the process remains the same only the image name will be changing so copy this execute it here so here we are passing this building prod api 0 0.1 so that container image we have just built and we are deploying this service now so now this has been deployed you can go back here so in this assessment we have deployed the image to the cloud run we enabled the authentication we enabled the service account uh, we had created service account and we have binded it right so that's the thing and now service will respond when the endpoint is access so for that let's copy this command next let's access the deployed endpoint by executing this command so you can copy this execute it here so you should get this status building service rest api online so you should get this status so once that is done you can click on check my progress now this is complete let's proceed with task 6 front end service account next we are creating a new service account for front end so the service account will be this and the service name will be this you can execute this command gcloud i am service account create and the front end service account name and the display name so it's a pretty straightforward you should get this message once the service account is created so once that is done you can click on check my progress so in this task we created a service account and we have applied the service account to the front end service next let's proceed with task 7 redeploy the front end service so using the new service account redeploy the front end service so here we will be redeploying the front end service with the service account so we had created a front end service account we will be attaching that to the front end service so for that we have to be inside this prod front end building so let's go back here because this is the folder let me clear the screen let's do ls cd prod front end building so we have to be inside this front end building folder next we need to build the image so the image name is frontend prod 0 0.1 so this is the image name so let's copy this so now this is success let's deploy it now i'll clear the screen so here i'm passing this so here i'm deploying the prod front end service again so now this is complete once that is done you can click on check my progress so here go to cloud run so in cloud run you can see all the services we have deployed all of the services so this is how you verify it so once done you can click on end lab So after completing this lab you will be getting this develop serverless applications on cloud run if you face any issues completing any of this task in this lab you can leave your comments in the comment section i will be happy to help if you found my video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel thank you all for watching see you in the next video